you, Mr. Speaker. You may proceed, Representative Kim, and Representative Dom Costa is also joining them. Mr. Speaker, I rise with great sadness today, along with my colleagues here today, to share with you about an event that happened in my district over the weekend. Lieutenant Dennis DeVoe, a 21-year veteran of the Harrisburg Fire Department, a resident of the 93rd District, was responding to a house fire on Friday evening. While he was in his personal car on his way to the fire department to pick up his gear, uh, he was T-boned in an intersection by a drunk driver and died in the hospital two days later. In that same fire, a four-year-old girl jumped from a second floor window to escape the fire and died a couple of days later in the hospital. This has been a devastating weekend for the city of Harrisburg. Mr. Speaker, I ask that you will help uh, think about and pray for the families of the victims, the Harrisburg Fire Department family and the local responders uh, that are always working well with the Harrisburg uh, first responders to keep them in your thoughts and prayers as we try to climb out of this profound sadness. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Representative Phillips Hill. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Last weekend, as Representative Kim shared with you, we lost Denny DeVoe. He was a devoted husband and father of four children, and he lost his life in service to the Harrisburg community. Denny graduated from Kennerdale High School down in Southern New York County in the 14th Fire Academy at Harrisburg Area Community College. He was also a member of the Pennsylvania Urban Search and Rescue, a state fire instructor at Hack and New York County Fire School. It probably comes as no surprise to many of you that Denny was also a, a registered organ donor. And we pray that from his death, others will realize a greater quality of life. Just as the community surrounding Denny realized through his tireless efforts, one month ago, Denny DeVoe was one of two firefighters who pulled a man from a burning house in the 1200 block of Kittatinny Street. And he said, it's what we signed up for. I'd want someone to do that if it were one of my family members. That's the caliber of the person that Denny was and will be remembered as. Greater love has no one than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. These words from the book of John are a fitting tribute to the life and dedication of this incredible man. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for the opportunity to remind Representative Frank, Frank Ferry is recognized, please. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. On behalf of myself and fellow co-chair Dom Casa for the Fire and Emergency Service Caucus, uh, we wish to pass our condolences along to the DeVoe family. Um, Mrs. DeVoe and, and their four children are obviously going through a very difficult time now, as is the whole Harrisburg Bureau of Fire and our first responders across this Commonwealth. When, when a first responder gives their life, um, the brother and sisterhood that transcends uh, all of all of our services, police, fire, and EMS. You know, it's a, it's a blow to our heart when we hear these horrible stories. As a, as a first responder, you never want to go from the rescuer to the rescued. And as uh, as Lieutenant DeVoe was suffering through that terrible accident, his fellow Harrisburg Bureau firefighters were heroically rescuing uh, three additional children from from that fire. Uh, those three children are still in critical and, and serious condition. So. We can also keep the Hughes family who, who lost a, a four-year-old um, and their, uh, the remaining three children who are still hospitalized in our thoughts and prayers um, in addition to the DeVoe family. Um, I believe the services are going to be announced uh, very soon, um, but it's a, it's a tragic way to, uh, to lose a first responder. But I think it shows the heart and integrity of the Harrisburg Bureau of Fire that as one of their colleagues um, you know, lie, lie in need of help himself. Um, they were heroically rescuing these children under very extreme and tremendous conditions. And sadly, um, Lieutenant DeVoe was actually responding from a funeral um, where a fellow firefighter was being laid to rest. And that firefighter was one of two uh, career firefighters in this Commonwealth that uh, passed away from cancer in the last two weeks. So we also want to keep those family members uh, in our thoughts and prayers. I know it's been a very 
very tough, uh, tough couple of weeks for our career firefighters in this Commonwealth. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Members, uh, at this time, I'd ask everybody to stand for a moment of silence. Thank you.